interesting little one for you. I just wanted to show you two pieces that I've dug up that I didn't film and tell you a little bit of a history about them. This one here is a badge and it is the Young Workers Patriotic Guild and that was put out by the Education Department of Victoria during World War One and what it was was for uh, school age children to do odd jobs around the place, get paid for it, and uh, donate it to the War Relief Fund. So that was from 1915 onwards until the end of the First World War. And uh, they raised about £50,000 doing that. And the young workers would have got uh, one of these badges to wear. And you know, I happened to find this one uh, just in a paddock and it was a pretty cool find. The other thing that I did also find from a from near the same paddock was this belt buckle and this is one that I want some of our American friends to uh, to comment on. It is potentially from the 1860s and if you read down there it says from Dixieland and when you actually have a close look at Dixie, it's spelt D-I-X-E-Y. Unlike what Google tried to keep turning it into of D-I-X-I-E. So that's a minstrel. He's got a minstrel uh, banjo. And the detail in it's absolutely magnificent because you'll see his hand looks a little bit funny on the strings, but he's actually playing claw hammer banjo so the detail work in this in this buckle is just absolutely brilliant but i just thought i'd share that with you and i hope that if anyone has any ideas or, or knowledge of this buckle to, to drop us a comment because that would be absolutely brilliant but uh google itself no nah, you reckon you'd be on a winner with the spelling that way all it came up with was the music of the time, which was spelt that way. But as far as old buckles, 1800 buckles from Dixieland, nup, nothing. Anyway, keep in mind, it's always good to fill in some of your data detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.